Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I am going to show you how to replace and remove the center grill and also the front bumper from any Audi A3 from the year 2010 and up. So the owner brought me this car and he told me to install this new front grill on the car. So this is why I made this video and this is why I will show you guys how to do it at home and with normal tools. So the owner bought this center grill from Amazon and I think he paid about 200 euros to get it and this is called honeycomb grill so if you all want to replace yours you will have to check and search for honeycomb grills and you'll find it on the internet. So to begin what we have to do first is to remove the bolts from the top of the front grill then we'll have to remove some bolts from underneath the bumper then you'll have to go on each side of the wheel and remove some bolts from the corners. So what I recommend all to do at the beginning is to remove the front wheels and lift the car up and you'll have to remove the mud guards. If you don't remove the dust protection from each wheel you won't be able to access the bolts very easy and because of that you will probably bend the fenders and this is not good. So I recommend all to remove all of the bolts which are holding and securing the mud guards and after that you'll have easy access to the rest of the bolts which you'll have to remove which are holding the bumper mounted to the car. So as you can see right here you'll have a lot of bolts in this area you'll have to remove remove all of them and only after that you can go ahead and replace and remove the rest of the parts. So as you can see you'll have to use a Torx 15 or a Torx 20, it doesn't matter and you'll have to check for yourself which one is the best for you and after that you'll be able to remove all of these bolts. In some cases probably the bolts will be very rusty and it can break but this is not an unusual thing so you'll have to check for yourself and you'll have to try it.
Okay, everybody. So as you can see, now with the mud guard removed from the wheel arch, now we have easier access to the rest of the bolts, which you'll have to remove on the car. So if you take a look right here, inside the front bumper, you will see one bolt which is holding the bumper mounted to the car. So this one from right there, you'll have to use some long extension to reach it. And then you'll have this one from right here. So you'll have to remove those two bolts. And after that, you can remove the bumper from the car. After that, you'll have to go on the other side of the car and you'll have to do the exact same thing as you did on the other side. So as you can see, I already removed the mud guard from this side and I also removed the bolts which are securing the bumper to the car. So as you can see right here, you'll have one bolt right here which I already removed and you'll have another one right here which I also removed it. After that, what you'll have to do is to go underneath the car and remove the rest of the bolts which are securing the bumper mounted to the car. And also don't forget to remove those three bolts from right here at the top of the bumper. Also I recommend all to not pull very hard from the plastics because they are made from plastic and it can break very easy. So just take that in mind, just pull from the sides very carefully and don't uh, rush with the things. So just take your time, you'll have to pull on each side very slowly and you will see that the bumper will come out from its place very easy. So you don't have to worry about it. Normally it should come out very easy, but in some cases it can be stuck in the plastic clips. So like I told you earlier, you will also have to remove the bolts from the top of the grill and only after that you can go ahead and pull from the corners from the bumper and you will have to remove the bumper from the car. So all you have to do is to pull from the center grill, you'll have to pull it to the exterior and after that you'll have to pull the bumpers from the corners. So as you can see, you'll have to pull very easy and slowly from the bumper and it will come out from its place. So On this car I also had some screws which are hitting inside the bull bar so the owner installed some longer screws from the number plate and it was sitting in the bull bar and this is why the bumper didn't come out in the first place. So all I have to do right here is to remove those bolts from the number plate and after that the bumper will come out very easy. So after you remove the front bumper from the car, you will also have some connectors behind it. So for example, if you have parking sensors or uh, fog lights or any other functions, you will have connectors behind the bumper. So don't pull from the bumper very hard. You'll have to pull it slowly in the front of the vehicle and you'll have to disconnect each of the connectors from the car. And only after that, you can go ahead and pull the bumper completely out and put it aside. Okay everybody, so as you can see right here, this is the fog light, I removed it completely with a bulb on each side because it was easier for, for me to do it in this way. And also this is the temperature sensor and also this is, I'm not sure where these cables are going, those are also some connectors. And normally I thought this car will have a headlight washer but it's only for the image, it doesn't have a headlight washer. And also to remove the center grill, what you have to do is to go behind it, you'll have three screws on each side and you also have some plastic clips. So after you remove all of these things, the center grill will come out from its place. So as you can see right here, I already removed it from the front bumper and this is how it's looking. It's a very high quality grill and it's a very nice grill in my opinion, but the owner wants me to install the aftermarket one, so I'm going to install the aftermarket one. So as you can see, this is how it's looking from behind it. 
Also, the new center grill, which I'm going to install on the front bumper, is the exact same size and shape, and the installation is very easy. You'll have to put it back in the exact same way you removed the old one, and you'll be good to go. Don't forget to tighten the screws, and I will show you guys in a second how it's looking on this bumper. It's looking very good, the fitment was perfect, I didn't have any problem with the installation, so as you can see right here, this is how it's looking, it's a very nice grill, it's an aftermarket one, but it's uh, fitting like an original one. So as you can see, I installed the screws from behind it, I also installed all the clips, and from here I will have to install the bumper on the car, and I will come back to show you guys how it's looking with the bumper and everything mounted on the car. Okay everybody, so this is the final product on this car, the installation was not so hard, it took me a while but eventually I did it and the fitment was perfect. This is how to replace the center grill and also this is how to remove the front bumper on any Audi A3 from the year 2010 and up. Thank you all for watching, if you like this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.